At 7 foot 4, with an 8 foot wingspan and 10 foot standing reach, Victor Wembenyama is an extremely versatile talent on both ends of the court. He can be your point guard's favorite lob threat, your new age Giannis combo center in terms of being the ball handler, or knock down bombs from distance with an incontestable release point as a floor spacing 5. The other side of the court has seen Wembenyama be compared to a quicker version of his fellow Frenchman Rudy Gobert. To put it simply, Victor is a freak of nature whose insanely intuitive mix of both guard and big man skills have made him the most hyped up basketball prospect since LeBron James. Two beastly performances in the G League proved Victor's a perfect fit for the modern game, which demands big men to space the floor with a deep range shot. His balance hitting shots after working off the dribble is better than any big man I've personally witnessed, maybe aside from champion and Hall of Famer for the Dallas Mavericks, Dirk Nowitzki. The 18-year-old's reach and elusive positioning defensively allow him to manipulate attackers, he's quick enough to switch onto smaller guards, and has more than enough strength, range, and foot speed to be an elite drop coverage defender. Tanking for the Frenchman has become such a trend that it's hard not to believe people are exaggerating about his upside when realistically, Victor Wembenyama is worth every bit of hype, and whichever team gets him will be damn lucky. Victor's unstoppability has the chance to not merely be generational, but generation shifting. Coming up, you'll see Victor's offensive ingenuity, which he displayed by averaging 36.5 points per night over two G League games. But I wanted to start by highlighting Wembenyana's switchability in pick and rolls, and overall movement on defense, chops which help make him the world's best player outside of the NBA. Keep in mind, Victor is currently playing professional basketball overseas against grown men, in some cases around twice his age with way more experience than him in the EuroLeague. Still, Wembenyana's mix of anticipation, lateral quickness, and length allow him to completely stun either jump shooters or drivers with blocks, and even have the awareness to keep his swatted shots in bounds, which lead to fast breaks. The passion for defense and timing is there for Victor, which is scary considering his intimidating stature keeps him in the vicinity at all times. He's so special of a shot blocker that sometimes he just stands there and allows his matchup to work before fooling them with denials. Putting a shoulder into him to try and fend him off doesn't work whatsoever with his reach because Victor's not just lengthy, his stick to and hand-eye coordination are generationally gifted qualities. Even if he was 5 inches shorter, he'd still have a chance to be an all-time great shot blocker because again, you can tell this man loves to embarrass anyone who puts up a shot around him. Strictly in terms of rim protection around the hoop, weak side rotations are Wembenyana's specialty whether he's stunting to cut off the lane, then recovering to his man, or giving sound help to beaten teammates. In terms of drop coverage, Victor's great at forcing ball handlers to drive by pressing up and then backpedaling with guard-esque quickness as his long strides and balance make him noticeably speedy when moving laterally. His second jump is special, as even after falling for pump fakes, Victor can just bounce back up when it doesn't even seem like he's in the play anymore. NBA centers may be able to out-muscle Victor, but drop steps don't move him around too much, and there's nothing anyone will be able to do about his reach and persistence. Now on to the most exciting part about Wembenyama, his nonsensical offensive ability. Much was made about his two performances against G League competition, where over two exhibition games, he dropped 73 points, 15 rebounds, and 9 blocks, making 9 of 18 shots from 3, and 22 of 44 overall against near pro-level talent. His numbers against the pros last season weren't nearly as flashy, as Wembenyana only played 13 matches in the EuroLeague, averaging 6.5 points and 3.8 rebounds in those games. Let's not forget he's 18 years old, and how he just lit it up in the G League most recently displays that he's a tremendously improved talent from last year. To break down his 37-point outing, this play sees the 7'4 Frenchman play point guard and get his matchup off balance by using a call for a screen as bait before going into a shifty smooth dribble combo. Great defense forces him to pick up the dribble, but then he just spins off his matchup by taking just two strides from the top of the key 
His defender has no choice to contest these two consecutive up fakes on the right baseline, and another jab step gets his man leaning, giving Victor just enough space for the mid-ranger. That was solid defense, which again was the case on this possession, where Victor's operating in the low post, but a shimmy shake and double clutch layup get the job done. That mid-range shot and drive gave Wemby's matchup the implication they could back up, but watch how a simple jab step gets his defender to go completely around the screen, then he just takes one dribble to the opposite side and drains the deep range bomb. That off the dribble shooting balance was again displayed right here, with one of Victor's patented corner step back threes. Next, one spot up triple was followed by yet another step back, this time from the top of the arc, which he misses but gets fouled on. Next possession he comes down and hits the spot up three, which he would hit three more of in the final quarter. It was a performance which displayed that Victor's perimeter game is consistent and NBA ready. But just like we did with his defense, I want to look at what this kid's done at the pro level. Despite the aforementioned EuroLeague stats not being flashy, it's important we evaluate film on the very best of talent that Wembenyan has played against so far. Victor is comfortable with and has more than enough stamina to be setting one or multiple screens within a possession, then quickly roll to the hoop for posterizations while embracing the contact. When spacing the floor, Wembenyana responds accordingly to closeouts, with vicious line drive takes to the cup, and has the aptitude to also make elusive and well-timed backdoor cuts. In the post, he's capable of establishing position, catching tough entry passes, and drop stepping, He's swift and dominant when getting up the floor in transition, but even in the half court, Wembenyana's strides to the hoop and great hands will make him a big time lob threat in the association. Victor's anything but traditional if you haven't realized yet. What makes him special is how he combines old school big man qualities with new school lights out shooting chops when either spotting up under the pressure of closeouts or working on the move with a defender draped all over him almost as if he's the 7'4 version of Kevin Durant. The phrase you're about to hear is heavily overused, but we've truly never seen anything like Victor Wembenyama. Considering most defenders who fly out to contest his shot are only up to Victor's belly button, they have little to no impact on changing his release as he follows through with a fundamentally sound trigger. Victor has the ability to transition fluidly from downhill drives into post backdowns and hit fadeaways on the baseline, which is one of his primary hotspots. Defenders are so concerned about a potential cut to the basket or drive from Victor that they often cheat off him, which Wemby responds to after setting a screen by faking the roll and relocating to the arc. However, the most intriguing part of his bag, as displayed in the G League games, is not the spot up shooting, it's the man's ability to create literally any shot he wants when operating off the dribble. Earlier this week, LeBron James called Wembenyama an alien and a generational talent, but Wembenyama stays even keel despite that praise, saying, quote, It's obviously an honor to see such great people talk like this about me, but it really doesn't change anything. That grounded mindset is what makes Victor the complete package, and one of the reasons why many teams around the association are unleashing the drama for Wembenyama. Whether it's Chris Stapps Borzingis, Ralph Sampson, Tim Duncan, or someone else, who's your player comparison for Victor Wembenyama? Three commenter shoutouts from my last three uploads in my next video. Thanks for watching.